Hey guys, Nikolai Tedeschi here, and welcome back to the channel. Finally got a new wheelie chair. All right, guys, update number eight for this collection. Um, I'm trying not to lose light. I just got home from work, and I got a notification on my phone that I got these two new characters that I ordered like two months ago, and they arrived today. So I was like, you know what? I just pushed this video out. I'm so sorry if it gets a little dark later on during the video, but best I can do, I want to get this video out as soon as possible to you guys. I've been waiting like three or four months now, and uh, this is definitely going to be my biggest, longest video so far so get comfortable grab some popcorn grab a drink or something because we're gonna be here a while so for this video we have 20 new additions to the collection 20 guys i have not had a video with 20 additions yet so the theme for this is going to be andy's room again uh, we're going to finish out andy's collection so comment your guys's guesses and what characters you think i'm about to show you so i guess i am click banning you a little bit this first character i'm about to show you is not from andy's room so let's just get her out of the way we finally have a stretch not the good stretch, not the stretch that I wanted, but you know, this is the only stretch on the market for now. But I think Cobb is actually going to be making that stretch now, finally. Um, he's been posting a lot of new pictures of it, and it is huge. I cannot wait to see the final product on that. I believe all of her tentacles move except two of them. Or that one doesn't really move. That one stretches. Stretch stretches, I mean, go figure, right? Honestly, not much to say about Stretch. She's a cool character, but can't wait to see that updated version that Cop will release eventually. Okay, we can finally get into the Andy's Room Edition. So the first one I have here is just a Rocka Stack. Definitely not much to say about a Rocka Stack, but it's featured in Andy's Room, and look, you can, you can do that with it. Pretty sure every kid had this when they were growing up, um, but if you guys want a Rocka Stack for yourself, look for the one with the blue ring on top, the smallest ring and the red on the bottom and it goes up because that is the one featured in the movie i'll put some photos on the screen but it's barely in it i believe in the second movie it's a different one where the red one's on top i, I don't know don't quote me on it but yeah just a rock -a stack literally nothing much to say about it okay for the next least boring edition we have just these little abc blocks i got this one at target um this is the company just melissa and what is that Melissa and Doug, but if you guys look at uh, Dan the Pixar fans, he actually found um, an accurate size block, um, like more seen in the Andy's room, because these ones are kind of tiny. These ones are kind of tiny, but in the movie they're just a little bigger. And the only scene that I can really think of that these are featured prominently is just at the end of Toy Story 2 when, when Wheezy's like singing and dancing and everyone's all dancing along watching him, um, and he's standing on these and it just spells out Wheezy. Now, I actually have Wheezy standing on the blocks right now on my new shelf. You guys can notice. It's right here now. It's not back here. And it's horizontal, so I can fit more characters on the top. Or just a side shelf. It used to be the side shelf over there. Because um, all these new additions. And I want to show you the rest of my shelf, guys. But I'm going to wait till the next video because there's a certain character on that shelf that it's not in this video that you guys are going to really, really want to see. He's my holy grail of Toy Story toys, and I cannot wait to show you guys. If you want to guess what character I got, let me know in the comments below. After this video, of course, though. It also comes with this little string, but it was never in the movie. So the next character I have is a character I got in my last video, but I wasn't happy with his size. So I caved in and just bought the film accurate size, and we have a film accurate shark. Um, from Toy Story QC. He's on Instagram. I'll link him in the description below. He sells some really good Toy Story props. So here's Shark. Look, he can actually squeak. Like Wheezy. I think he has the same squeaker as Wheezy. Let's check. Actually, this is going to be so loud on your end. I'm so sorry. So here's the Shark. Here's Wheezy. Oh, never mind that. That was way more painful. Now let's do it both together. Mm. Yeah, never doing that again. Here's the older Shark I had. Um, obviously you can tell the size difference here. Did not want this one. Even though this one actually did squeak too. Let's actually compare the squeakers one more time. Maybe. So if you guys want a cheap alternative for a shark, I would just get this one. He's like 30 bucks on Etsy. But this one was around 200 on Toy Story QC's Instagram. But yeah, he's a great addition. I'm glad I got him. I don't think he sold very many of them. I think I got one of the last ones he was selling, unless he wants to redo them. But I remember he posted something on his store that he only had 100 of these. So hopefully if you guys want one of these, he still has them in stock. So message him on Instagram. And here's Shark with uh, Woody's hat, if you guys wanted to see. I'm Woody, howdy, howdy, howdy. That actually fits very nice. Unless you can put it up here and it's fit now. That does not work. Slays on there pretty nicely. So yeah, that is Shark, guys. 
Oh no, this lighting is going away. I hope it's not too dark on your end, guys. But anyway, my next edition is really fun one. Um, kind of expensive character though for how little he is. But you know, he was in Andy's room, so I had to get him. And it is the hockey puck. Not much to him. Well, I guess his arms kind of move like this. But I don't want. I don't want to go all the way. I don't want to break him. Um, but Toy Story Replica UK sells this one on their Etsy. Uh, pretty good price. I mean, kind of. It's around 100 And I believe he was only in the what are you looking at, you hockey puck scene. I think that's it. I don't think you ever see him in the staff meeting. I don't think you ever see him like in the background character just walking away. I think that's it. Just a little comic joke and that was it. So there's hockey puck. So this next character that I have is so minor in the first movie that if you blink, you'll definitely miss it. And it is the Pink Bear. I'm sure you hardcore Toy Story fans know who this is. So he appears sometimes in the background in that first movie, but his main appearance is in the staff meeting scene in that first Toy Story movie where Woody's all, you know, hey, you guys, you know, you can hear me on the shelf or whatever. And he waves and he's like, yeah, I can hear you. Never says anything. And you can kind of see him when it does like an overview of Andy's room just sitting on the shelf. So I got this cute little bear on the Eye Candy Monsters Shop Etsy page. And it was really hard for me to figure out the size of this guy in the movie. Because there's certain scenes, I'll put them on screen right now, where he's huge and then there's some where he's kind of tiny. So I just went with my gut and I got the 40 centimeter version here. I'll put a link in the description to her page if you guys want to check out her Etsy and pick up a pink bear for yourself. But I believe he was also in the second movie on the TV screen. Very, very brief appearance. And I think that was it. Never had any lines, just a really cute bear. When I first got this guy, I pulled him out. I was like, oh my God, this, yeah, this bear is huge. I don't know how well it's gonna work out with my other toys, but it actually looks really, really good. So we're gonna continue the theme of minor characters from that first movie and that scene. And we're gonna do Dolly. <laughs> this is, this. she's awesome. Uh, I literally just got her 20 minutes ago. So the Dolly I bought here is actually the 20 centimeter version and Pulled her out and it actually works out really well with a 40 centimeter bear. Um, and the other character I'll show you in a second, if you guys don't even know who it is, if you can guess it. I know she appeared in a lot of the Toy Story shorts that Disney released, but yeah, there's her face there. Gosh, this lighting, I don't know, man. I hope you guys can see the details. Waist mover? No, I don't want to force it. Her leg joints look like they can move. Okay, they're really, really stiff. I do not want to try to break that. I also got her from the Toy Story Replicas UK page on Etsy. Pretty good deal on her. I think the 15 centimeter one that he sells is a little cheaper, but I'm not too sure on that one. Not much else to say about her. Um, she's cool, but uh, let's move on to the next character. We still have a bunch of characters to go through, so. All right, the next edition, if you guys couldn't already guess it, but it was another one of those characters on the shelf, and it is the little rubber ducky. Honestly, I thought this rubber duck would be a lot smaller, but it's actually a really good size. Nothing moves, it's just just a rubber duck. Just a rubber duck, guys. There's the bottom, just a flat bottom. The face looks great. I mean, it looks just like the one from the movie. Here is the size comparison of all three of them. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. I think I made a great choice. So these next eight editions are really fun. Um, very side characters in the first two movies, but if you guys know, you know. So let's get started here. So, first we have a little painter tyke. Um, all these little tykes are made by Toy Story Replicas UK on Etsy. I believe this one is from the second movie, Painter Tyke. So next we have Cowboy Tyke. Pretty self-explanatory on this guy. Um, not too connected right there if you guys can see that, but that's okay. I'm never going to be displaying him from the back anyway. The paint a little sloppy on some of these, but it's not too bad. And there's just a little example of the sloppiness of paint, but it's okay. I mean, there's paint on the paint for the paint tag, so doesn't matter too much to me. Just thought I would point it out to you guys if you're picky about paint details and stuff. This one, I believe, is the Hunter Tyke. If you guys have seen South Park, he kind of looks like uh, Kyle. <laughs> Same little green hat that he wears. Yeah, I believe this one is in the first movie. Here we have Sailor Tyke. Paint's not too bad on him. I believe this one was in the second movie as well, not the first. Next is Cap Tyke. Um, just a tyke with the blue hat. I don't know, I guess he could be a trucker or something or a civilian tyke. I don't know. Next is a really cool one. I actually love this one. This is the Doc Tyke. Dr. Tyke. I love the little chrome piece right there. Look, you can see my camera and the reflection. And you can also see how pitch black it is right now outside. <laughs> Next tyke is the Shriner Tyke. In my opinion, I believe he's the most memorable 
hike. Honestly, the only scene I can really think of with this guy in it is when they were looking for Woody and they had like the Lincoln logs all laid out and stuff and he was driving that little red car. And uh, people are selling it for like $100. Like, do I really want to buy a little red tiny car for 100 bucks? I think my fire truck is fine for now. But I said that last video about some of these characters and look, I already have them now, so... Who knows, maybe next video I'll get the little red car, guys. And the last tyke that I have is the school kid tyke. He kind of looks like Damien from South Park, <laughs> if you've ever seen that show. Um, same with the Kyle one. Like, we got Damien and Kyle here from South Park. <laughs> but, yeah, literally nothing much to say about him. Just little black hair. They all have freckles. I was going to say yes, freckles, but they all have freckles. So Just a little bunch of tykes made by Toy Story Replicas UK on Etsy. Um most memorable scene I can think of that these guys were in was uh, just that first opening scene when, you know, Mr. Potato Head held them all hostage. So, tykes. Okay, next edition is an actual character this time, and it is Mr. Spell. Look at this. This is just amazing. I think this is definitely one of my favorites. Most accurate for sure. The 3D printing is awesome on it. I believe this battery thing comes out. I never actually really tried. Yeah, there's a little nail in there. You can actually pretend to put batteries in there, but I don't know, that's just there for gimmick purposes. And these quotes right here are actually switchable, which is really, really nice. Also made a custom box as well. Look, we got like Texas Instruments on there. You're welcome, Mr. Spell. Nothing there on the side, and uh, yeah, all the quotes are in there that I put. Like there's like question marks and stuff on there. And the buttons do not work. Um, I didn't expect them to, it was just a prop. Um, but yeah, you can still tap them and stuff, obviously, but it doesn't change the quotes. This is actually held on together by a magnet. Super cool, so you can take that off if you'd like, if you wanna switch the quotes around. He even got the detail right with the Mr. Spell. I don't know how well it's gonna take up on the camera, but you can see it right on the red part there, Mr. Spell. Again, this was made by Toy Story Replicas UK on Etsy. So the next edition from Toy Story Replica UK is Snake. Look at Snake. Very prominent character in Andy's room um, in the first two movies. You can see him in the background in the third movie too, if you guys didn't notice. I believe in the fourth movie. No, I don't think he's in the fourth movie in that opening scene. And you do have to build him when you get him out of the package. It doesn't take too long, but it's kind of a pain. You can stand him up. Stand him up like this, like from the movie. Kind of just show. You can sit him down and stuff like that. So that is Snake. Very, very great addition to the collection. And since we just did Snake, let's just do his best friend for this next edition. Robot. We got Robot, guys. This guy was a pain in the butt to make. This is the Blind Squirrel Props version. Look, his head moves. This actually comes off. I think you're supposed to super glue this little headphone part. And you're actually supposed to super glue this part as well. It's actually kind of super glued on there. His little uh, visor piece, all these little edges. I don't know how well this camera is going to get it, but like all these little edges right here, you had to cut out with a knife. It was a pain. It was the hardest step. His newer version, which he actually made cheaper. I bought it for like 350 and then he made it cheaper to like 125 I'm like, really? I could have just waited another month until... Anyway, so I kind of lost money on there, but that's fine. A very, very delicate piece. I don't plan on really doing any stop motions or live actions or nothing with this guy. He's just going to be sitting on the shelf, especially. Uh, I'm not going to be playing with him at all very much. His waist moves. He has this awesome raised lettering treads here, which you can actually move him, but it, it messes it up. There's a part here on this tread, which is like super glued, and I don't want to like mess it up too much. I don't want to roll it over and it just completely comes apart. Here's his visor kind of coming off. I don't super glue it and it, yeah, it just keeps falling off. And his newer version here, these are all printed out pieces, just 3D printed colored pieces. So you don't have to do any painting yourself. His arms can kind of extract, but they're super glued in. He has a little swivel there, which is nice. I had to redo him so many times, guys. I messed him up. I put this part right here on there, but his red part's supposed to be on the bottom. These are like super glued. Everything is super glued on, so. Very, very delicate piece. I've been saying that so many times, but I think you guys got the gist of a robot. We're just gonna plop this back on. He's not really film scale height. If he was just a little shorter, it would have been perfect, but he's just a little taller. He's like up to Rocky's chest. And this is the height comparison of robot and Rocky. Now, originally I said that this goes up to his chest. I don't know what I was thinking. This is almost taller than him. And I bet if we take his little helmet hat thing off here, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Look at that, it's just whoosh, you could shave that thing right off. So I believe in the movie, Robot goes up to his chest. So he's a little tall, but I don't really, I don't display them in the same cube like that. 
I'm trying not to show you myself up here, guys. It's a secret. Also, here, let's get Mr. Spell in here as well. Pretty good size, honestly, for that one. We'll get a tyke in here. There we go, a little tiny tyke. Can't really compare to that. And here's the battery piece too. So you pretty much just attach it like this, but it keeps falling off when I display it and I move it for like one second. I think you're supposed to super glue this on. Super gluing things is so annoying for me. So um, his switch actually, you know, works. Blind Squirrel actually does sell an electronic version where it lights up and stuff, but I didn't want to spend the extra hundred dollars. Even he said it wasn't even worth it. He's like, cool, yeah, it's nice. Like the brain and stuff will light up, but it's like, it's not really worth it. You're literally just going to be sitting on the shelf like this does because it's super delicate. The switch moves. There's a little battery piece if you wanted to eventually upgrade to the electronic version, but I do not plan on doing that anytime soon or ever because this is perfect to me. There's another Instagrammer out there that does sell a robot as well, but he, his raised lettering is not as good as Blind Squirrel's. So it took me like a month to figure out which one did I want because Blind Squirrel actually lives in my city and it was very, very fast um, to ship to my house after he printed the pieces, of course. So that only took like a week or two for this one to get to my house. I think I've talked too much about Robot here. He still has some 3D printing little hairs. I don't know if you guys, you guys definitely probably can't see it, but there's little hair and stuff right here. And sometimes with 3D printing, the lines aren't smooth, but that's okay. From a distance, you'll never notice. Same with like the tykes and stuff, like the painting. The painting flaws you'll never notice if you're you know, far away. So yeah, that is Robot, guys. Toy Story Robot, featured in the first two movies. Um, very glad to have in my collection to complete Andy's room. So the last character that I have right now is a character that I've been wanting to update for a very long time since I first got him. And um, I can't believe I've already gone through 20 editions. That did not feel like very fast. So hopefully the video is not too long. I don't know how long it's going to be. But anyway... That character I needed is Ham. Finally got an updated Ham. Here's a comparison for the old one I had, if you hadn't seen this one. Look how tiny he is compared to this one. This is made by C Toys. Amazing, amazing job. It just looks just like him. Perfect, perfect size. Um, he comes with a real life cork. You can take this out. And he does come with coins. Custom coins as well. Not just like pennies or dimes or quarters he threw in. These are custom coins so two gold ones well there it is I was, I was shaking it i was like where's that fourth one custom coins here with ham's face on it it just says uh toy story ham toy story ham on the front and then there's a little cash symbol so he included two gold ones and then the two silver ones same face same everything just different color plock that cork in look at that it's this huge cork plock that in and then you can just put well, i guess i can put the cork in very well shove it in and then you can put the coins in very well so ham also includes mr potato head's hat doesn't i haven't really tried it i just i got him like a week ago um doesn't really f not supposed to fit on there it's not like suction to where it can just fit on you just gonna have to lay it on there and since you just saw that his eyebrows were moved too i'll show you that in a second yeah that doesn't look too good um i guess you just move it closer i don't know i have no idea place it over his ears no that's not gonna work but yeah it's nice he included it for if you ever do like a live action or something but he also came with these two sets of eyes and two sets of eyebrows here's his other set of eyes it's kind of like an oval shape and the ones i have on him now are just like a circle i don't know if you guys can really tell a difference his mouth detail is amazing it looks so much better than this one this is plastic i've heard some complaints that this part right here is a little really really stretchy but mine isn't like it's not that bad at all i like that this one is head on instead of this one like looking off to the side but this is real ceramic and this is just plastic if you guys were wondering but the best part of all about this ham is the box and he did include a certificate of authenticity he only made 88 of them and i have the 50th one i'm just gonna leave it in the baggie because i think that's really cool so yeah there is a certificate of authenticity on here and it says seed toys just like how cop did it on his as well and here's the box that ham came in look at that we got 27 years 95 to 2022 collector's edition piggy bank there's the side of the box there's the back, him flipping a coin inside of himself. It sounded so wrong. There's the top, nothing on the bottom. And then when you open it, he has this cool little uh, artwork thing going on for the uh, packaging. And then you open that up and then very nice protecting case that you can put ham in. 
I actually messaged him like, where are the coins? Are the coins in here? Did you forget the coins? And actually, I can't even see it now. Um, yeah, there it is. Look. They go in here. So it's kind of camouflage. I don't even know if you guys can see it. But you put your finger in there. The coins go right in there. Um, so very disguised. I was like, where's the coins? Then he showed me a picture. Here's a little attachable eyebrow. Little tiny hole. You just plop it in there. Like that. You can move his eyebrows around if you want. Okay, it does not stay in very well. So that is Ham, Evil Dr. Porkchop. So glad to finally have him. Look, you can make him angry too if you wanted as well. And here's a little eyebrow comparison. So this is the one I have on now, just kind of a curve to it. And this is just like a straight on. So you could like make him, God, these are not staying very well. You can like make him mad if you wanted to like that. Or like worried like that. That is ham. It's really good quality. You can't like squish it, except for here a little bit. That's no big deal at all to me. Okay guys, ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Here we go, okay. Look at this. We got the tigers down there. We got, you know, the minor characters. Look, we got Hockey Puck back there. We got Shark, Etch-A-Sketch, See and Say. We got Rocky, the man himself, bro. Ugh, there's the Bo Peep back there, Bullseye. I just kind of threw everyone wherever. But, man, look, my camera's gonna die. Oh my goodness, I thought I charged it. Okay, look, we got Wheezy and Snake and a robot. Look, so there's a, again, little Exciting comparison of Robot compared to like Mr. Mike and Woody back there, but look at that guys. All of Andy's toys from those two movies, man. Wow. I'm <laughs> I'm even in shock. Like I, I can't believe my collection is this big, and that's not even including, you know, Toy Story 3 characters, Sunny Side, Zerg up there, and Barbie and Ken, but yeah. Wow. I gotta stand up, look at this. Man. Just in shock, guys. Just in shock. I love my collection to death. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, guys. Let me know which character out of all the new ones I got in this update video, which one you like the best. If I had to choose one, can't choose all of them. If I had to choose one, it would probably be the pink bear. Honestly, he looks fantastic. Just look at this guy compared to these two. I'm glad my gamble worked out that they would be a kind of a decent height together and that they wouldn't, you know, overshadow each other. Because in the movie they kind of appear small and then one scene they appear big, so just kind of went with my gut on that, but uh in second I'd probably say Mr. Spell or Snake. Um look at him, he just looks awesome. He came with a little stand that you can stand him up. I don't know where I put it, but a little clear stand you can do it, but you can just kind of stand him up with his tail like like so. Um look we'll Put some live in here. We got, you know, Rolly Poly. Who else can move around here? No one. I don't think so, but... Well, I guess this can do that. can do that. He can roll. Um, almost knocked Mr. Troika over. You know. Up on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, whatever. Um, what are you looking at, you hockey puck? I don't know. I think the next characters that I want to update are the potato heads right here. So Toy Story Replica UK, they also sell the potato heads. Um, very good ones. They actually look alike. It's not this collection version and then that little $10 one. They actually have the same skin tone and they have a bunch of faces you can switch out. They look fantastic. So I think I'm going to pick them up next as my next updated characters. And a Trixie. I still want an updated Trixie as well. And the stretch. When Cop finally releases his stretch, I will be getting that. Let's actually see what the, uh, ham potato head hat looks like on him. Uh, that does not look good at all. That's way too shiny. Let's just put that back on. If you guys are curious how I set up my shelf here with all the new characters, here, I'll give you a little look here. So you're probably wondering why these minor characters are up here, but this big dude right there could not fit in one of these cubbies. Where he can, but his ears are shoved back, his face is shoved back like that. Um, so yeah, they're going to stay up there. The new ham finally looks fantastic up here. Love it. Um, gonna try to go at an angle here so you don't see who's next to bullseye here but um yeah this is where all the main characters are right there but let's go down to andy's toys look i put bo peep and rc and the sheep and some army men in there i think it works out perfectly it's kind of hard to display these big toys in here next we have uh where rocky the new shark hockey puck c and say troll willy pulley clown lenny and uh some blocks and army men and a uh, little monkey all right I think it works out well. I think this looks pretty good. Next, we have a uh, robot snake, etch a sketch, Mr. Spell, the Troika's uh, armament, and some monkeys. Um, 
Let's move this up a little bit. Let's see, that looks better. And then uh, finally, we have uh, where the tykes are, Wheezy, um, Mr. Mike fire truck, and some just background stuff. And there's the Wheezy all spelled out in the blocks. And uh, yeah, that's where all my uh, Andy's toys are. And then if you're curious, that's where Sunnyside and then the Toy Story 4 Club is. Now that I have like every character I could possibly want, um, I'm gonna start doing a lot more videos in December and next year. And I know I said that about 2022, but a lot of things didn't go as planned this year for me. So uh, life's been tough. Um, but 2023, I hope we're new. we go into a stronger year and um, a lot more Toy Story videos for you guys. I don't know how many more update videos I'm gonna do because like I said, I have pretty much every character I could possibly want. Look forward to all those new videos, guys. I wanna do a three year anniversary video of all my collection when that uh, March of next year, I wanna do that. So I think that's it, guys. So I'm out of breath, I was talking for like two hours straight, man. I hope the video wasn't too long, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like the longer type of videos, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know if you guys like it just short and sweet, me just showing it, or you guys like to me go in detail with all the characters that I have, but, Good news for you guys, my next update video is going to come out sooner than you think, about like a week or two. Way sooner than this last one, but you know, I had to wait for all these guys to ship. That robot right there took me eight hours to build. Eight hours, man. I mean, I think he looks great. Snake over here took me like two minutes, two, three minutes, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, my next video is going to be great. Look forward to that, guys. It is, <laughs> I cannot wait to show you who is sitting right there. Oh my goodness, it's going to be great. So look forward to that. Put your notifications on, your bells, whatever it's called. My camera literally died, so the audio is going to be different. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like the longer videos or shorter videos in the comments. I think that's the most important thing that I want from you guys. So I'll link my Instagram down below if you guys want to follow it and see a cool Toy Story picture I posted of my whole collection. That was almost a year ago, though. I mean, I have a lot more additions now, so. Next year, I'm definitely going to be posting a new picture with everything. It's going to look great. So that was it, guys. Let me know what characters you want to see next, and we'll see you next time. Bye.